it is the pediatric intensive care unit of the St. Laszlo Hospital. It is the leading infectious sanctuary in, in Hungary. We began to work uh, 21 years ago, and um, it is uh, a sanctuary for infectious diseases, sepsis, and uh, we have the uh, largest bone marrow transplantation unit for children and adults in Hungary, so we treat a lot of kids with uh, bone marrow transplantation if uh, intensive care is necessary. We have a good monitoring system. We can see the monitors in the transplant ward and in the other uh, part of the building. They have two uh, places and uh, we work together and, and the monitors are monitoring with, with us. Come. It is the first step. So we, we transform the pediatric hemodynamic guideline, the first step. In the first five minutes is the USCOM, and, uh, our, and uh, if we see the results, we can we can decide what to do. How long have you been using USCOM? Four years. Uh -huh. How do you use? Regularly, it? on daily basis, okay. and it changed our practice. We use much more noradrenaline than before, as it is a trend in, in, in pediatric septic shock therapy worldwide. <laughs> you find so it So we use it, and we <laughs> like it, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> You're using it too, Peter? Yes, absolutely. This is my... Well, my favorite uh, device <laughs> on this, this ICU. You are the editor of this, are you? Yes. And this book is on the third place of the top five in the Medicina uh, Kiado uh, publisher. Publisher, book publisher. And that comes in there? Here. See. And that's me performing an examination. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the TV star. <laughs> the TV star, you know. So this is a routine part of what you recommend yes, for clinical yes. practice. Yes, and here it is. Invasive meningococcal disease, two types of hemodynamic patterns. It here, the SVRE 250, and here 2238 was a constriction and was a dilatation. The therapy is not the same, so <laughs> we have to do something. <laughs> so how did you buy the ASCOM? First, I, I threw it on a congress, in the uh, annual congress for pediatric anesthesia and intensive care. And uh, before there were a lot of offer how to use other monitors. I went there, it was nice with the uh, waves, and I asked, may I try it out? I, I put the uh, head, uh, put on the patient, and it was perfect. They said, of course, it is not so easy to everybody, but you, has, you have such a huge uh, practice in, in using the ultrasound. I said, yes, it was my first time, so I buy it. Okay, <laughs> what's the price? <laughs> Yesterday is in a very critical condition. Um, he was admitted with um, severe cardiac failure, and it turned out that um, he had some uh, very severe um, vasoconstrictive um, um, difficulties, which was affecting um, the circulatory of the, of the circuit system of the lung. And it seems that uh, the patient has some kind of uh, uh, myocardial uh, failure based on myocarditis, basic, probably based on a viral infection. And it took a lot of time to figure out which um, vasoactive treatment or um, inotrope treatment he needs. And the ASCOM was one of the, um, the, the most important devices I was using overnight to, to figure out which is the best for the patient. And, uh, 
he is still in a severe condition, but it seems that he might have some reserve and, and we, can, we can use that to, with the help of the ASCOM to, to get him in a better shape. Scum is very easy to learn, so uh, even the youngest physicians can, can, can uh, use it. And it is uh, easy to teach the, pe the, the, the physicians how to, how to think and how to improve the cardiac support of the patient. It is the pediatric block of the St. Laszlo Hospital and on the first floor you can find a pediatric intensive care unit. <laughs> we work there. <laughs>